This tutorial explains how to calculate the mean squared error and the root mean squared error in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this tutorial, I will show you several different examples and all of these examples are based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to five of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called my data. And if you click on this data object, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains two columns, which are called X and Y. And both of these columns contain random numeric values. So let's assume that we want to estimate a linear regression model based on this data. Then we can apply the LM function, as you can see in line seven of the code. So if you run this line of code, a new model object is created, which is called myMod. And this model object is now appearing at the top right of our studio. So in the next step, we can use this model object to calculate the mean squared error, or also called MSE as you can see in line nine of the code. And in this line of code, I'm applying the mean function to our model object. And from this model object, I'm extracting the residuals and I'm taking the square of these residuals. So if you run line nine of the code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that an output is returned. And this output is the MSE of our model. Alternatively to that, we could also apply the code that you can see in line 11 to calculate the MSE. And in this line of code, I'm again using the mean function. And within this function, I'm specifying our data frame column Y. And from this, I'm subtracting the predicted values based on our model object. And then I'm taking the square of the output of this. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see that the same output is returned as in the previous line in line nine of the code. So this is an alternative way to calculate the MSE based on our model. A third way to calculate the MSE is based on the metrics package that we can install and load as you can see in lines 13 and 14 of the code. I have installed this package already. So for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line 14 of the code. And after running this line of code, we can use the MSE function that is provided by this package. And within the MSE function, we need to specify the column Y in our data. And we need to specify the predict function. And we need to apply this function to our model object and to our data object. So if you run line 16 of the code, you can see that once again, the same value is returned. However, this time we have used the MSE function of the metrics package. So in the previous examples, I have explained how to calculate the mean squared error. However, it's also possible to calculate the root mean squared error as I'm showing in line 18 of the code. And in this line of code, I'm using the square root function and the mean function and the residuals as I already did in line nine of the code. So if you run line 18 of the code, the root mean squared error, or in short, the RMSE of our model object is returned. And in this case, the RMSE is 0 0.874. Alternatively to that, we can also use the metrics package once again, or more precisely, the RMSE function of this package. And within this function, we need to specify the column of our data and we need to apply the predict function to our model and to our data object. So if you run line 20 of the code, the RMSE is returned once again. However, this time we have used the metrics package to calculate this output. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. 
I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.